Hi, I'm Chris Clough, the producer of The Red Dahlia. I'd worked for Linda and LaPlante Productions before on one of the Tron Retributions, which I'd enjoyed very much, and I was absolutely delighted to be asked to come back and produce the second in the Above Suspicion series. I'd read the books before, so knew the basic concept and what the stories were about. And therefore, uh, when I arrived, Linda had already written the script, which was a beautiful, rounded piece of storytelling. The first person to come on board the team was the director, Gillis McKinnon. I hadn't worked with Gillis before, but uh, I knew his work. He'd done a lot of very interesting feature films, a lot of very good other projects. He'd also worked for LaPlante before. And he is the sort of director who is absolutely ideal for this show because he can bring a lot of subtext to uh, the performers and the script and has a very, very good eye for detail. Linda had written a very sort of economical script in that I mean there weren't huge set pieces with thousands of extras or there weren't huge amount of stunts or burning buildings or car crashes or things like this. So this was boiled down to a six-week shoot which mainly was shot in London the house we used, Mailing Hall, was out in Windsor and then we took three days out to go and film in Margate. Interestingly, we decided to shoot this show on the new HD format and we thought it would be very useful and also, obviously, it's more cost-effective not to shoot on film, regrettably, these days. Therefore, we shot on HD. And Nigel Willoughby, our DOP, had never shot on HD before, so it was uh, with a sort of slight sort of hesitation that Nigel and Gillis came to the HD format but once they were there they embraced it so I think what we got out of it was a really really strong and interesting looking show. Obviously one of the great advantages of working on the Linda LaPlante script is all the characters are very well written, very well rounded and what is tremendous really is that we had our two anchor characters Kelly Riley and Kieran Hines who have tremendous on-screen uh, personality and um, can sort of spar really interestingly well together. Both very strong actors, very interesting to watch. And we have the rest of the retinue, like Sean Dingwell, Michelle Holmes, Amanda Lawrence. And then we put in a new Baroli because we wanted to make a bit more out of that part and have a bit of a sort of roly-poly sort of guy who was always making a mess of things and always the butt of everybody's jokes. So Kellen Jones really sort of got that and nailed that beautifully. And between them, we had a sort of really good six-man police team. Joining them, uh, we had a tremendous guest cast, which was headed by Simon Williams, who's playing Charles Wickenham, who had to be a really evil, nasty, unpleasant character, which is totally outside Simon's normal... Um, comfort zone, it has to be said. He's a charmer, comedian, very much still the sort of character that everybody associates from upstairs, downstairs, although that's quite some time ago. Very good-looking, handsome, debonair, charming man. And to have him play the killer was uh, a great idea. Also with her was the lovely Sylvia Sims, who I'm sure the audience know from brilliant shows like Ice Cold in Alex and all the other sort of stuff, who's now turned into a fantastic character actress. And she's playing the housekeeper. Uh, brought a lot of subtlety and undercurrent to this part um, and really brought a third dimension, which was just a joy to watch. Then as, as well, there's, uh, there's Edward Bennett, Ed McLean, both of whom very good, solid, strong actors, done quite a lot of stage, not necessarily known too much in television, which again is good for us. And then young, new talent like Hannah Murray, who I'd worked with in Skins, and Holiday Granger, who's in the new film Scouting Book for Boys, both two young, exciting, up-and-coming actresses. So, coupled with the old and the new, I think we've got a very, very nice range of characters Good, good bunch of actors playing the other parts as well, and a tremendous atmosphere on set. Another great thing working for uh, La Plante Productions is the amount of loyalty that they have and people have to the shows that they produce. So there's a tremendous pool of people who worked for the company before who were all absolutely brilliant and who come on board and give 150%. 
And thus we were blessed with just a fantastic crew, all taking the, the difficult but mainly creative ways forward, not taking the easy route at any stage, everybody trying really, really hard, everybody pulling together, very, very, very close-knit family of designers and technicians. So from a production, it was absolute joy, very good atmosphere on set, which I think helps everybody, especially the, the actors as well. So a very welcoming uh, environment. <laughs>